guys, welcome back and thanks for taking the time to join me. I'm going to tell you the, the silver wrap. Now the, the hook in the vise is a sour black and size 11. This is basically equivalent to a, a size 12 and a Partridge Patriot double. The thread that I'm going to use is the Uni 380 in red. So we're just going to come in and get our thread started behind the eye of the hook. Remove our waist tag of thread. Tag at the back, I'm just going to use some of the oval silver tinsel. This is the Vanyard's French, it says 14. And we'll catch this in underneath the shank as we head down. And you just want your thread to be in line or just slightly past the, the points of the hooks. And then just come around with your oval silver. Four turns. Bring your, your oval silver tinsel up in, right in between your the hooks. That locks in your tag for you. Follow that around with your thread, and then just run my thread up. Turn this in. Now I want the the rib to be a wire, so I'm just going to trim off the the oval silver tinsel at this stage. Come back in with the silver wire. The wire that I'm using. Is the, the ultra wire, UTC ultra wire. You can't go far wrong with the, the UTC wires. It's just in underneath. And they come in many different colours too, the UTC wires, which is a good thing. I'm just going to work this back down, tied up to the, the tag, just tying on a rib. The tail, we're going to crest feather, go to a and crest feather. Now this one here has been dyed a, a fluorescent yellow, so I'm just going to offer it up to the hook, let's get our, our length, happy with that, take it up with a couple of turns, come in and trim away the, the waist end, the body, I'm just looking at some silver tinsel, or in this case I'm just going to use a uni mailer, it says 12 silver and gold. Now you could use the large and the mailer. But this here, this, the size 12 just and the, the mailer suits the hook a bit better. We're just going to catch that in and just work our thread forward. Just tying in our mailer and the cut ends of the, the crest feather. And we're just going to come around with our, our mailer tinsel. And we just want to make sure we're, we're on the money here. Nice straight turn at the back at your tag. And then you're just looking overlapping turns of the mailer of the body. Now what you could do is or you could put some varnish or super glue on and then bring your your mailer up. Just come in and trim away the, the waist. And we'll bring up a rib. We're looking three to four turns up the body. Bend them, bring away your wire. Now, at this point, the wing on the silver rat can be silver fox, or in this case, I'm going to use some uh, grey squirrel. Now, I've got some in the the stagger here, so I'm just going to take it out of the stagger. The tip should be lined up. Length of wing, it's up to you. Personal preference, way you like to tie as well. I'm just going to have mine coming just about halfway into the tail, so I'm just going to hold it here with my finger and thumb. Just come in, trim away the, the waist. Get this back onto the shank of the hook. You want that right sitting on the shank as tight as you can get it. Then we're just going to cut it in to the cut ends. Just pinch and loop until you catch the hair. Nice and tight. That's your hair in there. Don't worry if the wing is sitting up a bit. The hackle to put in the front. Now it has a tendency to pull out squirrel. So best to put on a, a like a super glue onto your thread. 
and then work this down over the over the cut ends. Now if there's any excess there like that, just come in and just dab it away. I'm going to put a wee bit of flash under the wing. I like to do that with my solar rats. And I'm just going to take a wee bit of it's just mirror flash. I just want a strand on my side and then just turn the straw back, come back up the way on the your side, and then just come in and trim it the, the length. Front haggle, just looking at a grizzle haggle. It's just a wee cheap grizzle cape I've got here, so I'm just gonna get a wee feather off, and we're just gonna, gonna come down, just coming down a bit on the on the tip and then I'm just going to come in and just trim that away to give me a tanning point it's just about tanning by the tip I'm not going to get the length of the fibre that I need for the fly and I don't want to fold it back so I don't want to be creating too much bulk at the front so I'm just going to come in with my scissors just run that up the, the stem of the hackle and then you're looking two turns of this. Turn and a half the, the two turns should be should be plenty. Oh well, it all it depends what way you want to dress it, that's up to you. Everybody's different. Right, it's gonna do me there. So I'm just gonna follow it around with my thread. Get a couple of tight turns in, and it's gonna check the stem. Right, the stem's thin enough so it's taking off some of the, the fiber to reduce the bulk. I'm going to fold the stem back. Then we're just going to tie up over the top of the stem of the haggle. Nice and tight. Keeping my thread tight. Bring away the, the stem. Still keeping my thread tight. Just come straight in and what finish. I'm going to brighten the head up. Bit of blue braid floss number number three. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, what you could do is on the original silver rat, or should I say, the silver rat that Mr. Peter Peter O'Reilly would have tied. You can put on some red varnish, so you can build your head up even more with the red thread if you wish, and then just come in with some red varnish and then we're just going to come in and whip finish two turns will do it put your thread nice and tight come in trim away your hand thread now, just going to take off the excess wax before we put on a wee coat of Super glue under the head. Now you don't want this touching your touching your dressing in any way. It'll just ruin the, the the pattern on you. Just ruin your work. Just right the whole way right round. And then once that dries, guys, I'll just come in and put on a couple of coats of varnish just to seal up the head. And that one there finishes it finishes it off. So that's the the five aside team, if you like. So great pattern. Uh, I have to say, I always keep one in my box, <coughs> and it's a good pattern for low clear water. Uh, the silver rat. So it is. But look, hopefully, as I've got something from that, tie a few up. Hopefully they can catch you a few fish. As always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. And until next time, please stay safe. Enjoy your fishing. Enjoy your fly time too. And uh, take lanes.